Okay, there we go. Today, I am playing Control. I've never played Control before. I have seen very little of it, too. I, I have, I've caught, like, a few minutes of streams here and there, but basically, I don't know much of what to expect. So, I'm excited. All I know is it's kind of, kind of spoopy, and there's lots of words, apparently. Lots of stuff to read. Um, do I want to adjust any settings? Brightness is fine. Uh, that's all good. Subtitles on, please, always. Start new game. I said start new game. Start new... Oh. Okay, there we go. It just it was just taking its time. I just had to be patient. Standing still in combat makes you an easy target. It does. It does. I love to keep moving. Anytime a game gives me both a dodge and a block option, I will always, always dodge. <laughs> just instinctively. I'll be like, no, move out of the way! I, I could block the attack. Sometimes it would be bad to block the attack. Sometimes you can parry things in certain games. But no, I will always dodge roll out of the way. Always. Because I'm a coward, and my eye is itchy. God damn it. Yeah. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Nice! I like weird. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I should. Hey, Strike! How are you doing? I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. And hey, Uber, how are you so doing? I have never clicked a live notification so fast. <laughs> I had a stroke of fun now. So I take it you, you, you both uh, fans of Control. It's hey, Range, how are you doing? <laughs> we live in a room, and there's a poster on the wall. Federal Bureau of Control. That is so menacing. World. Good, you. I'm good, thanks. I'm excited to play Control. I don't really know much of what to expect, which is good. The picture is something nice. Control is an amazing game. I have heard lots of good things about it. Never played it? <laughs> okay, so your stroke was unrelated. <laughs> Same problem as Ghost, I've only played two. You've only played two. For each of us, it oh, Uber. Can be beautiful. Uber, what are you doing? <laughs> We're all transfixed. Did you get it for PS5? Nice. I got this for free with Something PS Plus. To distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much it's this month's free game no it was a couple months ago actually there's a hole um, hidden behind that post i think it i think it was actually february's game was it last month safe in that room but i thought final fantasy 7 remake was last month and then control the was the month before but maybe it was the other way around yeah last month was ff7 because i played that freak out because I was going to play Control first, and then Final Fantasy VII was on, and I was like, okay, well now I'm playing that one first. <laughs> Why did you bring me here? And I don't know what's on this month, actually. I haven't checked yet. Hello? PS4 and PC as well because of Humble Bundle. Ah, Anyone Humble here? Bundles are good too. So, here we are. This is, this is me now. We explore. We walk around. Good, good, good. Uh, American flags, so we know what country we're in. Can I just leave? <laughs> How funny would that be if you could just leave? Game over. Game looks great on PS4 and truly stunning on PC. Oh, I bet it does. Security check! Remove outerwear. Empty pockets. And Okay, it's, it's like an airport security. Oh, I beeped. What's this? Correspondence. Prohibited items reminder. Ooh. Wait, you're telling me this isn't Zimbabwe? Fuck, it is not. 
It is, in fact, the United States of America. Ooh, loadout. I don't have any weapons or anything. I don't have any materials. I do not have a clearance level. Remove all jewelry and weapons. Yes. All jewelry and weapons. Ooh, look at all this stuff to collect. Oh, exciting. Prohibited items reminder. Federal Bureau, Bureau of Control. Reminder! Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pages, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart! Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal... I'll take that one again from the top. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypical... <laughs> Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. Nailed it. First try. GG. E.g. rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. Wait, I understand rubber ducks, but ketchup balls? All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Oh, wow, zoom. Okay, I don't want to zoom. Okay, so that was all there was to that. Yeah, there's no back page or anything. Okay, awesome. A lot of stuff to collect here. Yeah, if you're a collecting glo goblin, you'll love this game. Oh, Uber. If there's one thing you know about me, I am a collecting goblin. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to use smart devices. No, that's the great thing about smart devices. Strike the smart for you. You don't have to be smart. They do it for you. Head of research override. Something protocol activated. HRA protocol activated. Multiple building shifts detected. Multiple containment breaches detected. These screens are not filling me with confidence. I think bad shit has happened. Whoa, uh, Jesse, you just standing on that chair? Bad shit has happened here. Can confirm my watch is probably smarter than me. I do not have a smartwatch. I don't have anything to wear on my wrist. But. But. I bought something recently. It hasn't arrived yet. I'm wait still waiting for it to arrive. I am very, very... Ooh. Static TV. Lovely spooky atmosphere. I bought myself a present, which I'm importing all the way from Japan because uh, they haven't released over here and they may never release over here. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. But I bought um, I seeing it in my dreams. the... Oh, what's it called? I think it's I think it's called like Vital Bracelet Digital Monster. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a Digimon Virtual Pet slash Fitbit. I'm so excited to have my Digimon Virtual Pet slash Fitbit that you train by walking. Oh. Expenditure summary. Executive sector. Q2. Major. Staffing. Surveillance. Redacted. Data center initiative. Construction. Redacted. Redacted. Minor. Office equipment. Janitorial costs. Redacted. Mold removal. HQ livability costs. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5. For five-year comparison chart, see page 9. Oh, I should have zoomed on that. That would have been easier to read. I think I'm going to try to remember to zoom all of these. Compiled by FBC Accounting Department by order of Director Zachariah Trench. What a name. A Tamagotchi that walks with you? I mean, a fighting Tamagotchi. There's one thing that Digimon are. And there is only one thing that Digimon are. It's Tamagotchis that fight. They are not a Pokemon ripoff. They're a Tamagotchi that fights. That is literally what they were conceived as. L3 while running to sprint. Classic. Classic video game controls there. Ooh, we could go this way. You could fight with the original Tamagotchis. What? Really? Tamagotchis could fight? I did not know that. Uh, do we have a map? Okay, that's just that. Uh, there's no map on here, is there? I really would like a map, please. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh, we got a whoop, whoop. Just messing with some buttons, seeing what they did. I did not know that original Tamagotchis could fight. With some weird wrestling they did, and you had to tap the middle button like crazy. Goddamn, I do not. Oh, it's cuddle time! 
Mm. Mm. I do enjoy my cuddle times. I want you all to know, when I'm cuddling the bunny, I'm cuddling all of you. <laughs> if you want. If you don't like that, then that's not the case. You're excluded if you choose to be... Ooh, toilets. Federal Bureau of Control. That is correct, Jesse. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Can we can we duck under here? Can we can we can we duck? Can we crouch? Is there a crouch button? There's a jump button. I found jump. Okay. Uh, wait, is that even? No, that's still a glass window, isn't it? Yeah, that's. That's- that's glass. You can't- I- I saw the blind was up and I was like, I can go through that. You can't. It's still glass. 10 out of 10 wholesome streamer! Oh, thank you, Uber. I do try. I try. That's not- I thought that was an open door! <laughs> what avoid napping for again? Oh my god. The highest compliment. Better than a nap. Wow. I never thought someone would say such nice things about me. I kicked over the wet floor sign because I'm a rebel. Vending machine. Roxy is a bird confirmed? No! Roxy is a cat! Meow, meow, meow. Federal Bureau of Control. Attention, all redacted. Redacted! A shark in his redacted! Although secure, redacted! Permission to redacted! Following basic protocol, redacted! Shoot to kill! Redacted! Good luck. Excellent. That's great. There's a shark somewhere. And it was a big enough problem that they are now shooting to kill. Got the affiliate notification yesterday, so I'm over the moon. Oh my god, congratulations, Strag. That's so great. I'm very happy for you. You can get some cool emotes now. Why Why is it not taking me straight to the thing that I just picked up? It did the first couple times, and it's not now. Federal Bureau of Control. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request, request form R4E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head. Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. To executive sector staff from admin. Just have to figure out how to fill out the confusing tax form. Oh, there's, you don't really have to do much with that, I don't think. If you're in the UK, it's mainly saying, No, I'm not from Freedomland. Here's my NI number. Yeah, basically. And then you end up never, like, even coming close to earning enough to need to declare it on tax anyway, so it's, like, pointless. <laughs> Hello? Noises. I realize, literally, I've been very excitedly just exploring and looking in all the nooks and crannies. I have no idea why she's here, and I have no objective. I'm just here and I'm wandering. That's it. <laughs> Didn't even realize until just now. <laughs> Can we do anything with that? Anything under 1k is casual income, yeah? Okay. Well, this is just a room with some music on. It would be embarrassing if the police had to arrest me for eventual tax fraud because I made an oopsie in the phone. That is true. That would be very embarrassing. They're considering raising it to 2k. Oh, really? Excuse me. It's a person. An actual person. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's uh, assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go lick his ear? Yes. I haven't found the lick button yet, Elevator so... That way. Got it. Wait, which way? Very good. I'm a janitor, by the way. 
You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no relevant. Help me work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you want. This guy is weird. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Oh! the janitor is a friendly face in my book. A new mission, welcome to the no oldest house. Ooh, that is. Think about it. No face. I like no that's face. I know no face thinking. is nice. If there's an axe murderer around. That's him. Who is she talking to? Is she talking to me? Or is she talking to someone else in the game? Who would kill for Arty? Ah, uh, okay. He's, he's weird. He gives off wholesome vibes, but at the same time, slightly serial killery. Yeah. Like, if you... Ah! Jenny, thank you for the host! It didn't scare me this time, because I remembered to turn the volume down before I started streaming. How are you doing, Jenny? I hope you're having a good day. I am very, very energy right now, and I don't... Wait. Did I go around and... Wait. This is weird. This is weird. This is fucked up. It's not right. I've been here. I've been here, but it wasn't like this. Oh my god, this is so freaky, right? Right? So that's where I came in the building, right? I went through the metal detector down there, up these stairs. I went in that room and had a look around. Uh, I think I went over there. I think I went in there, but there was no lift, right? And there was a door here, and I went through this door, and I went round. Oh, this game is so cool already! <laughs> Can't wait for Roxy to get absolutely mind blown by this game. The lore on the character is incredibly mind fucky. Oh man, this game is gonna fuck with me so much, and I am here for it. The cell and the poster. <laughs> I was eleven years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Ooh. Oh, nice. We're getting like a proper title sequence. I love it when games do this. It all looks very mysterious. Starting to look like the Metroid Prime title screen. Oh man, I miss Metroid Prime. Oh. Did I lose you there for a moment? It's a shame what happened with four, you know what's but on my mind, my baby brother, Dylan. It's 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 years good that the they this bureau took him. Decided to just restart if it was not going to be good enough. For it's still in development, yeah, but they basically had to start from scratch after like two or three years of, of development, which... Did something just fall off there? Which sucks, but I just... breaking shit all over the place. Now the MP experts are back at it. Yes. I hope, I hope it's good. Oh man. Oh yeah. I don't have clearance level one, do I? I have zero clearance level, so I can't get in there. I guess we gotta... Okay, so my current objective is just proceed deeper into the bureau. Nothing in here. Over here. Oh, it's dark. 
Retro Studios made the first three. No idea why Nintendo decided not to use them for this one first. Yeah, me neither. Nintendo always making weird nonsense decisions, though. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside of the building. Don't read confidential correspondence. It's not just rude, it's illegal. Rude and illegal? That sounds like just the kind of thing I like doing. Push. <laughs> I wanted to push it, not do that. Federal Bureau of Control. Barbara! I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week! I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. An intent... Investigate the noise in the director's office. I I will. Nintendo as a company can get fucked and Nintendo as a gaming company is semi-decent. Yeah. Yeah, basically. They make good games, but their business practices are appalling. Also, Miyamoto, retire, bitch. That is, that is my hot take. Hey, Chickpea, how are you doing? Office of the director, Zachariah Trench. See shit. what me oh. Hmm. Shit, shit, shit. Very good finished work. Nice. Oh pick it up. Oh, we have a map. Really? We have a map. We have a map. Nice. And also I am good, thanks. Okay, so he's dead. And there's Something's no one else outside. in here. Wait, what? Oh, was coming here. Something's outside. I'm scared. Is he a dead bitch? Well, I don't know anything about him. I just I don't know if he's bitch or not, but he's definitely dead. Whoa, close up. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of that was AWS interesting world events intrusions upon the perceived reality now the service weapon is of course a prime example of an oop a very powerful one the gun in seemed Ukraine, to be talking Afghanistan, yeah a key component in our prime candidate program come out of that russian roulette a winner and you <laughs> you're it <laughs> Although, my take on it is that something else is talking through the gun. Where am I? Uh, probably the astral plane, considering we're in an astral plane challenge right now. Follow the board's instructions. This game is incredibly trippy. Melee! Wow, you died in one punch! This is the white side of the astral plane. Astral chain has the red side. Oh man, I want to play astral chain. I haven't played it yet. It looks so much fun. Woo! Trophy earned. Choose to be chosen. Got a wee pinch of psychological thriller slash horror to it. Yes, I did hear that this game was okay. quite spoopy. Now I have a gun. Fire service weapon. Oh god, it's hard to aim. Oh god. Ah! Oh, um, uh, that would have helped. That would have very much helped. <laughs> Regenerates ammo automatically when not in use. Well, that's nice. I don't have to worry about running out. Oh, headshots don't deal any more damage. Okay. Punch! Punch! Wait, you're not dead yet. Punch again! What are they dropping? 
Little sparkly doodles. Punch, punch! Little, little sparkly doodles. I want the sparkly doodles. Hey! Don't be shooting me, bitch. Punch! Played the first two hours in the dark at 3 a.m. <laughs> Jesus. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect health elements to restore health. Oh, that sounds really nice. I like restoring health. <laughs> Look at me in the morning. <laughs> Yikes. I don't want to see you first thing in the morning. <laughs> Falcon punch. It's not like a Jesse punch. This is... Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood... <laughs> His gun's alive. <laughs> Uma, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm happy to be here. I very much appreciate it. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Forgot to press the buttons earlier. Well, I'm I am very happy that you remembered to press the buttons. Okay, so here's my map. That is a confusing map. That's not it's not so bad, I guess. But oh, hmm. See why I was terrified? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad I'm playing this in the middle of the day. That was while talking and stuff. That makes it a little bit easier. Whoa, 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 whoa. None of that, none of that. Research and records. His guard. Compiled by Emily Pope, research specialist. By order of director Jesse Faden. Wait, that's me. Field research on his entity. His corrupted security guard. Confidential. Summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards use the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Oh, nice. Is this shielding a result of prolonged Hiss corruption? Does the Hiss mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the Hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the Hiss have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later. Though it's obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons, refer to file redacted for full report. Also, I have this photo. I don't know when I found this, but I have it now. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. Zachariah Trench. Wait, I have more stuff? Ooh, when did I get all this stuff? Service weapon OOP1KE. Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Description slash para-utility. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to redacted. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redacted. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is di dictated by the redacted, though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object, object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, redacted, many forms throughout history, redacted. Mjolnir, Excalibur, Vorinastra, all weapons that redacted of their wielders. 
If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, redacted! See Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 for more details. The red rooms don't get any less creepy, it still gives me chills each time. Oh, so, uh, scary. I'm gonna get scared a lot. And what's in here? Darling presentations on objects of power. Wait, did I already see? Oh, hello. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's. Wait, we already saw this, didn't we? Events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an. But we couldn't see like the whole screen. Powerful. We only saw. Ooh. Ingrained in the bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose, and you're well. Fired. <coughs> Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, Head of Research, Federal Bureau of Control. <laughs> I like Dr. Darling, he's funny. <laughs> okay, wait, what is that thing that I have 300 of? I have 300 something. Okay, wait, I want to look at the rest. Okay, okay, so I have, I have a weapon now. Ooh, there are mods as well. Level one slot. Ooh, it looks like there's gonna be weapon customization. Okay, and that's just like a little recap of what's been going on so far. Health, health, give me health, give me my little health glowies. Okay, can I go in here now? Do I have clearance? I still do not have clearance. Okie dokie. Um. Ooh, what's this? Reminder, redrafting any public-facing material. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Word slash phrase to use. In the service of his slash her country, regret, proud slash pride, will be remembered. Word slash phrases to avoid. Alaska, scissors, blood slash bleed, loss, apologies slash sorry. Wow. Okay. <laughs> These videos are absolute gems. <laughs> Avail shelf gems. That is one hell of a typo. What's going on? Oh, this machine is remotely controlled and may start without warning. What is noises? Why is noises? Hey, I remember these screens. I already looked at them once. Can't go in there. I already went in here, didn't I? There was nothing in here. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was, it was just that circle over there. I see. I thought it was something in that room that I was missing. Um, can I go in here? This is still locked, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I guess we're going in this way then. Like the way we came. Possibly. Okay. We're now in executive affairs. Okay, that. Whoa! His face is like. Or his head is like way up there on the screen. That's creepy. Reach the hotline. Central executive is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Can I hit you, please? Thank you. Whoa! He hello. Can you stop moving, you asshole? Ow, 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 ow. Give me my health, sis. Personal mod health rec- what? Health recovery- health recovery element pickup plus 20% Equip. Ooh, or deconstruct for money. Okay.
Okay. Okay, so I guess those are going to be, like, item drops rather than, like, sp Oh, jeez, what the fuck? Hi. You alright up there, dude? Ah! Can you not? Ow! Oh! Rip me. That didn't go great. He's doing a sick dab. I was distracted by the by the floaty man. And now I did. Right, where will I respawn now? Okay, back here. That's okay. Wait, do I still have the thing that I picked up? I picked up a thing from in here, didn't I? Do I still has it? Okay, I must still has it because it's not here anymore. Run, 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 run. Ah! Punch! What do we do to guys with guns? We run at them and punch them! Okay, I'm gonna... Where, where the fuck are you? I don't even see you! Where the fuck are you? Are you that way or this way? Oh, you're that way. Punch! Punch! Okay. Aggressive was a way better way to deal with this, I think. Shoot, punch! I love how they explode when they punch. Ooh, material undefined reading. Clearance level. I do not have a clear. Okay, I have three undefined reading. Conceptual material. Okay. Okay, I kept my mod after I died. That is important. I, I'm, I'm glad that you don't lose the shit you have when you die. Okay, and health drops stay on the ground for a while as well, which is good. Okay, so this way was... Okay, this is creepy as fuck! What happens if I... Uh, I, I, I exploded that guy. I do, I'm gonna stop doing that, because I... Those are people! <laughs> Alright, let's, let's have a look, look around. Oh, this is just the toilets again. Okay. Wait, let me just open cubicles, just in case. There might have been something... Did I just knock the seat? I knocked the lid off the toilet. <laughs> he had a family. You don't know that. A wife and kids. You don't know that. <laughs> oh, there's something in here. He could have been a single loser who was just terrible. Two adorable little pups too. No. Agenda items for next executive meeting. Rising costs of AWE response. Update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. We made quite a mess here. More toilets. Yes, I am going to go into and check every single toilet that I see. The environments get very, very fun once you get a teeny bit further. Ooh, I like fun. And I'm sure you just mean that in the literal sense that it will be fun and not in a, a way that you mean it's going to be weird. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Oh, I really can't read what that says on the board there. OK, 
can be taken for reuse. And some graphs and diagrams. Wait, is that... Oh, that's creepy. That's creepy! I have a feeling you'll like it, but also be vaguely terrified by the horror stuff. I am a big baby and easily scared, so... Reminder. Oh, it's just going to play? Okay, that's fine. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for Bureau staff Whoa! To you and the object. That picture exploded. Just shoot and things to- Ah! I want to spin it all the way! I just put it all the way around. Doing good so far? Good! I'm glad you're doing good! You are the director. Of course there are pictures of you on the wall. I've been the director for like five minutes! Leave me alone! There shouldn't be pictures of me on the wall yet. I just walked in here and picked up a gun. I... That is a flimsy desk. This game has a fantastic physics engine. Yes, it seems it has lots of physics happening all the time. I, I don't know whether to... I have these it's creepy noises happening. There's creepy noises. Welcome, director. Yes, I'm sure it will be great and nothing will go wrong. Let's have a map at the map. Okay. Oh, I saw paper all over the floor and I'm like, that's got to be something, right? And it was nothing. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Why'd you not always go to the thing? It's very weird. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Shea Ambre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. <laughs> Don't let mold hitch a ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter? Okay. This mold is not normal mold, is it? That they've been talking about. Avoid modern technology. <laughs> I agree. Modern technology is the worst. <laughs> Crims wanted to say hi to. Hi, Crims. You are a very good cat. His life is in your hands, is it? Shelter max occupancy six persons. Hmm, God, this is, oh my god, it's so creepy! For Marshall's eyes only. Marshall, we checked out the suspected a AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything, just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dry before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things, or well, you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. Emergency supply storage. I want emergency supplies. Ooh, material house memory. I don't know what these are for yet. I'm sure I'll find out at some point. Wait, can I close myself in here? I don't know why I would want to do that right now, but... Now I know it's a thing I can do. Oh god, it's so creepy. It's so creepy! It's so creepy. This is the third time I'm trying to watch this game. Might not make it all the way through. Good luck. Hopefully, I will at least be able to play it all the way through. <laughs> oh. Central executive, in case you missed that. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The 
hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. Okay, so she's talking like an to infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Something in the game. I don't know what that. Is. <laughs> Let's have some music on just to drown out the fucking chanting of droning of the hiss. Oh, we can't hear it anymore. We went too far away. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We're proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a, this is a secure federal office and that they'll, they'll need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redact it immediately. Remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Oh, hi. I did not see you there. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 yay! I knocked the newspaper on the floor. <laughs> I am taking this game very seriously. It's the only way I'm not going to get too scared by it. <laughs> Examination of paranatural topics, urban legends, summary. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain redacted, informed by our own redacted, and popularized by our media. We've additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted, our bureau-made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on Redacted. A pair of scissors that consume human Redacted through two punctures on the Redacted. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. The paranatural reality is waiting to happen. Refer to file 4936942 for support. Ha, 69, nice. Creepypasta. This is Creepypasta the game. <laughs> also, there was another thing that talked about scissors and blood earlier. Um, as things they should not mention in relation to an event. Do not mention scissors or blood. I guess because they don't want to make more people think about the urban legend. So it's not just like propaganda and secrecy for propaganda and secrecy's sake. It's actually like the more people believe and know about this stuff, the worse it can be, which is an interesting concept. This architecture is weird! And now we're at the Louvre because there's an inverted pyramid hanging from the ceiling. There's like a one of those under the Louvre, right? Or did, did is that not true? Do I have to jump down? I don't want to jump down. It's scary. I'm going to have to jump down, aren't I? Yeet. Punch! Punch! I have taken a lot of damage here. That's not good. They are also talking about creepypasta. It's just a different form of urban legend. Yeah, but that's what I mean by it's creepypasta. Ow, shit, I died. It's it's literally a game about, about creepypasta things. <laughs> there is one in the underground lobby souvenir. I thought there was. Yes, that is my second death already. I'm not doing good at this game. <laughs> I'm just not good at shooty shooty games. It's not my not my forte. I hate this loading screen. I kind of like it. Not gonna lie, I'm kinda, I kind of like it. 
all the way back here? Wait, that's not far, is it, actually? Right, so do I still have all the documents and stuff? Um... Oh yeah, there's the one about urban legends. That was literally the last one I picked up, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Good. Okay. Confirmed. I, everything stays picked up. That's really nice. I like that. Punch! Punch! Ow, Jesus Christ, that hurt. Punch! Oh. Oh, okay, okay. I need to play this a bit more carefully now. Whoa, a grenade! Fuck! Punch! Oh god, there's another guy right there. I want that health. Ah! I thought he was gonna die faster. This game doesn't have a difficulty slider? Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> It's done very well, too well, you might say, which is why I hate it. That's fair. That's very fair. I, I understand that. Interact with control points to instantly refill your health. I, I wish I had a control point to refill my health instantly. That would be very nice. But no. I will just have to get good, as the gamers say. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Are Be good. Everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Grenade! Crap! 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 That's how you do it. Ooh, a new kind of material. Hidden trend. I like these little material icons, they're cool. Ooh, what's this? Oh, ooh, damage boost. I'll take a damage boost. Damage plus 24%. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. I love that I can just pause and equip it in the middle of a fight as well. Where is this last guy? Where are you? Hmm? Oh, there you are. Stupid piss boy. Get dead. Ooh, what's this? Must cleanse control point. Ooh, An cleanse enemy. the control point. What? An enemy? Corrupt. What? Corrupt. Oh my god, he's saying all kinds of things. But I just picked up another weapon mod and I want to see what it is. I only have one slot at the minute. Shatter projectile choke. Projectile spread minus 6%, exclusive to Shatter. I do not have Shatter, apparently, so no point in that at the minute. Oh, it's so creepy! Wait, what does that mean? Help me fix it. Cleanse control point! Whoa! Oh my god, that's so cool! Ah, that's amazing. I love that. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with us? Outfits? Outfits? I have one outfit right now. That's expected. Okay. You clearly want me to go over here right now. Please, talk to me. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. How do you know she's I sane, lie. Jessie? Jessie Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out.
Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Hey, Tortu, how you doing? Gas leaking in. <laughs> Control. More like, uh... <laughs> just take your time, Tortu. You'll, you'll get to a joke eventually. Extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. <laughs> Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the control molly. <laughs> Keyboard and mouse. I <laughs> got him. Shot also, it, Tortu. You, this is a good one. Crazy. <laughs> he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Why is she floating? Oh, there's just there's just people floating. They just be floating. There's loads of them. Probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. Is that why she came here to look for Dylan? If you can cleanse a control. What's that she wearing? I don't know. I don't know what it is she wearing. Infected or possessed by the hiss, because if that's possible, our options are very different emily pope i don't know her but i like her already she's the opposite of the faceless agency i've blamed for what happened to me for so long Ooh, what happened to you jesse her. or rather the bureau she's a part of yes i can try i'm speaking for you of course we can try it together I wonder what she's okay. talking to. You with me? Something or before. someone. Push the hiss out. In her head. Let's see if there's anything hiding in here for me to find. Does not look like it. Cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. Okay. I uh, just want to have a look around first. <gasps> Treasure! The door's locked. I guess I can't break the windows either. Wait, I can't even get my gun out right now. I guess we're gonna... Hi, floaty. How are you doing? You just floating? That's cool. I'm gonna do things to you. Hmm. Well, she's not floating anymore. Uh, uh, it didn't work. Hmm. His has burrowed. His corrupted agent. Summary. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? Mm. When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to file redacted for full report. Throw some rocks at them first. I don't have rocks, but I do have a gun. Too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Uh, Emily? Pope, Jesse, where did you... Wait, what? Where? Need to make a plan, where are you? Where'd she go? 
Where'd she go? Oh, she's up there. <laughs> I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary. Ordinary. Years ago. Your hometown is literally Bureau called Ordinary. Covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. Jesse, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. <gasps> Darling's gone missing? This was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. There we go. That's what she's wearing. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. He did. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Hmm. Oh dear. He's probably not going to be they okay, is he? The director. Why are they going missing? I don't That's know. There's a lot of mysteries going on at the minute. Type. Never hotline been. sounds like a phone sex company. No, the hotline is just a specific telephone right for talking to yes, the I weird my brother, but there are other triangle thing. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. And I'm, I'm sure some people are very into proof. weird this triangle things. It. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Oh, is that the hotline? I bet that's the hotline. <gasps> I have records and stuff. Trophy and welcome to the oldest house. <laughs> there are always stupid questions. Um, oh, I got a new personal mod. What did I get? Oh, uh, just a another one of these. Okay, that's, that's fine, I guess. New mission. Enter the communications department to find the hotline. And what's this? Hmm. Portrait of Director Zachariah Trench. The only person you should fail is yourself. D <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not sure I agree with that. This department is just outside the boardroom back in the. Can we talk? The oh, I didn't expect us to like sit down and have an actual conversation. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I want to know about the origin of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. 
See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Ooh. It's the one about the oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What That's is this it? place. This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I transcend my physical limits all the time. It's not a big York deal. A few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. That's I a cool hypothesis, though. <laughs> but you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah, yeah, I might need yeah. to shoot some people. I might need to do that again. I already shot some people. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> She's a nerd. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. And finally... So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly yeah. he knew. He knew something was gonna happen. All right, we are done here. Thanks, Thank you, Emily. Emily. I'm that sure I'll have more questions soon. Very useful and just informative. Let me know. Camera went a bit screwy there. Ooh, treasure! Some house memory. Okay, so I guess we need to get all the way up there then. Um, map is not really helping very much right now. Cafeteria, nostalgia department, ah, communications department, and dead letters. <laughs> That's the wrong button. That's my big punch. It's not really a punch, is it? It's like a force field. <gasps> Ooh, energy renewal, weapon mod. What's this? Energy gained from headshots, 14%. Exclu exclusive to grip, pierce, and spin. I'm on grip at the moment. But, um... I'm gonna leave it on what I've got at the minute. There it is again. A welcome message. Don't have clearance yet. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Doesn't look good in here, does it? Hi. Oh! Hi. Hmm. He seems like he wants to shoot me. Ooh, stuff. Week 83 report. Travel costs. Summary. I visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and out Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A-plus Lodge. Expenditures. Accommodation, $831.29. Meals, $714.84. Gasoline, $295.12. Mini Bar, $313.61. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskies is my ritual. <laughs> I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state, but hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. Someone needs to write a fanfic about Rowley and Hines falling in love because they have to share the same bed every night. Everyone loves her. There was only one. Th oh, he's actually shooting at me now instead of just wanting to shoot me. Excellent. Just do so many shootings. They can't shoot me back if I shoot them first. Okay, I am now in the cafeteria. God, this is so creepy! The noise. Face everywhere. I don't like seeing my face everywhere! <laughs> Whoa, that's scary. This is not the direction I need to be going in, but I want to see if I can... Ah! Ah! Don't don't go that way. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Don't go that way is a lesson I just learned. Look at my health now. <laughs> Please give me some health. Thank you. Whoa, there's so many of them. Oh, two for one. Nice. Okay. I just got some materials there. Is there anything hidey down here? Nope. Okay. Okay, that's the way I need to go. Let's see if I can go anywhere else first. Have a little... Okay, that place is very locked down. What about... Ooh, what about this door here? That's open. Oh, it's just toilets. It's just... To oh, there's stuff in the toilets! I knew I'd have to go in all the toilets. Unstable area notice. Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart. Green, stable. Yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. Okay, so basically green is good and red is bad. <gasps> Treasure in the toilets! Got me some undefined reading. Dark up here. Can't see anything. <gasps> Pistachios, potato chips, pretzels, crackers. Uh, what does that say? Protein. Protein and fibers. Some trail mix. 
beautiful. I destroyed the pretzels. <laughs> Die! But oh, wait, that- oh. I wanted to shoot the pistachios, but I shot the vending machine. <laughs> I love it when stuff does stuff. I killed the ketchup and mustard. What did the pretzels ever do to you? They know what they did. <laughs> okay, before I go any further, I'm going to take a quick break, stretch my legs, get a glass of water. I'll be back soon. Ketchup! Okay, don't read long chat messages while you're in a room, small room with a strong enemy. Crap, I think I just wasted the eye core there. I've got no heals! Oh, ta Sorry, I looked at chat and then Tess was here and I was gonna say hi to Tess and then I died immediately because I wasn't looking at the boss. I was fighting a boss and not looking. Thanks, Munchgraf, but I'm going now. Bye. Let's successfully finish the level this time. Hey, 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 I need that. I was looking at the big boob lady painting. You dick. Oh, I can't carry any more frag, frag, frag grenades. Can't carry any more frag grenades. It was supposed to be frag grenades. But apparently I forgot how to speak. Destroyed. 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 Oh! The extremely rare double eat. This looks scary. This is so scary. Mad at Neo, but what am I not? Am I right? Oh dear. How is Neo? Has it deleted your save yet again? That was mean! That was so very, very mean! Oh, test, by the way, look what I did. Ow! Don't pummel me with your- ah! Bevel. Insert and command me. Yes, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Tip. <laughs> they're just like boop 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 pitta pata pitta pata, and then their heads are all bloop 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 bloop, and then they kill me. Invader banished. Please never come back. Stop getting hit and healing in dumb places. Okay, let's uh, feed Willy. <laughs> Willy means penis. I'm a grown-up! <laughs> get up there. You think I can get up there? Get up there. 
There's nothing up there, and I'm falling. Woo! That was dangerous. Don't do that again. <laughs> Where am I? Um, I am not currently on my map. Okay. That Owen Wilson books! <laughs> like, this game is, is pun. Oh! <gasps> Chibis! Oh my god! Chibis! That's so cute! Look how cute they are! They're fucking Chibis! Oh my god! Um. Anyway. What about. Hello, I have returned. Resume game. Ah, camera, what the fuck did you just do when I resumed the game? That was weird. Okay. We're in the community. Ooh. Dead letters. Hello, what is this over here? Machine God. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body. Like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Well, that was something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was, uh, not weird at all. Ooh, hello. Give me things. Some more undefined reading. What's this? Singing fish? Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. So we got... Oh, what's this? Hiss barrier. The Hiss resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for full report. Emily is asking good questions in these research reports. She is smart and good. Where am I? Okay. Very oh oh I don't like that. It's not nice on the eyes. You got some more stuff. What you got for me? Some more house memory, that's cool. A little bit scared. Just a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, now a lot, now a lot, but I picked up a thing, I need to, I need to read it. Ooh, to Zed Trench from P. Bartwell. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. 
The letters came to us from various places and times, gathered by the postal service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realise not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I'll first compile a system to allow us to analyse the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Bartwell. Boom! I'm nearly dead! Wow! Oh my god! I took so much damage. I got shot a bunch. Is there another one? Give me the health! Ah! Ah! Where'd you go? Oh crap, he's there! I nearly died! That was really bad. Okay, um, I don't think I was actually done looking around up here. Don't know if there's anything more to find, but I definitely didn't look, so... Okay, there was nothing else to find. Down here, then? Okay, that door is locked. What's over here? Very scared now. Don't wanna die and stuff sneaking up on me. It's very red and lots of noise. I keep singing because it distracts me from how scared I am. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh! Cleanse control point! Yes! Ah! Uh, everything shifts. God, I love that. That is so cool. When all the building shifts around. Mission update. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mission updated. Navigate through the communications department. Communications. We're on the right track. Yes, we are, but first we want to uh, have a look around, a little explore, you know? A little explore. P poke around for secrets and stuff. Ooh! Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. A floppy disk! Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. This is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> oh, and it can launch it telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. <laughs> and once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> this guy is great. I love him. <laughs> oh my god. Darling is, is the best. He's so charming. Okay, no, I don't want to go through that yet. That seems like the way forward. I'm not done looking around. Okay, this is clearance level two. I do not have clearance level two. I want to see if any of those locked doors that were down here unlocked when I cleansed the control point. Oh wow, I went the long way around. That's fine. Aha! They did. Jesse, what are you... Jesse, what are you doing? <laughs> Jesse, oh my god! <laughs> she is 
just wearing the trolley thing. That's that's cool. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Hello, avid readers! The Bureau Bug Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5pm on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading! Penny Bartwell! Wait, Bartwell? I know that name. I know that name. Why do I know that name? Phone, stop buzzing so loudly. It's not allowed. I'm sure I've seen the name Bartwell somewhere. Ah! Yes! Okay, so Penny... Bartwell is uh, the head of the Dead Letter Archive. I see, I see, I see. We're learning things, we're putting things together. It's not important or useful information, but we're still... Oh, Jenny lost... Uh, Jessie lost her amazing fashion accessory. What the... Well, I'm having nightmares tonight. That was horrifying. I do not like that. I'm going to shoot a whiteboard about it. <laughs> oh my god, why did I come back here and see that? Dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that! I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Does Theodore Roosevelt know about lawnmowers? That's my question. Does Theodore Roosevelt know how to fix a lawnmower? Oh, that the puppet thing really freaked me out. I did not like it. It's horrible. It's bad. It's no good. I hope there is no, no more of that. Okay. Toilets! Nothing in the toilets. 
cafeteria. Well, that's where I just came from. I was about to say, wasn't I just in the cafeteria? Yes, I was. Uh, do I want to go upstairs? Or do I want to go this way? I want to go this way. Oh my god, will you shut up? Oh wow, they actually shut up. That's nice. What? You okay? Shouldn't... An object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Gah! Oh god, you can crouch! I'm sure I tried pressing R3 before and it didn't make me crouch. Is this that floppy disk? Shatter projectile boost. I don't have shatter right now. get to you do i have to go up these stairs i think so i can't get to you from here that's for sure there's a door there but it's locked and i don't have clearance for it don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me Bitch, I stood up. Why did I stand up? Ah! Broke my cover. Just want to see if there's anything back here. It does not seem that there is. Okay. I don't want to die. Please don't make me die. It is the floppy disk. Run! Did it. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Hold our one.
Oh yeah, yeah. Aim doesn't really need to be that great, which is nice for the telekinesis. Um, what now? Whoa! Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, there's one still alive. Trophy earned Paranatural Powerhouse. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. Floppy disk. Containment procedure. Must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Description slash power utility. The object is an ancient 8 inch diskette co containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows power utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more information. The object is currently bound to Redacted for research purposes. Background. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in Redacted by agents Redacted and Redacted with the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to Redacted missiles, believed to be reserved for use against Redacted. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. Nope, do not want to watch that Threshold Kids one again. Absolutely not. Just like you wanted, right? This Abilities like such as this. launch are particularly effective against shields. Nice. Wait, this door is neither locked nor unlocked. No. See, it has no, it has no light on it. Uh oh. Come out where I can see you. Smoosh! <laughs> Whoa! That was a big thing that I just picked up. Hello? Anybody? I can still hear the scary music, so that means there are enemies somewhere. There you are. Oh, you coming this way? Alright. They're all dead now. But I still can't go through there. Is that even a room? That's not even a room on the map. Look, there's nothing there. Okay, so I guess I got what I came for. In here. The ability to throw shit around! Make a fucking mess! Oh, hi! I was literally just picking stuff up for funsies and you were right there. Ooh, I got some more records. Uh, Hiss Ranger. The Rangers of the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces, their Hiss corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with bureau-made body armor. His rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense his resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the his rangers are capable of applying to their situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the his able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further observation is required. Refer to file redacted for full report. And a hiscorrupted demolition expert. The Bureau only allows certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives in dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. His demolition experts are the only observed his variations to wield the specially built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track redacted entities once fired. 
making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios. I find it remarkable that the Hiss restrict usage of this weapon to the Bureau personnel who train specifically for its use. What does this tell us about its behavior? Can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities? Still too many unknowns. Refer to file redacted for full report. And I killed him before he could do anything because I'm just too good. I didn't go down here yet, did I? No, I did not. A shelter. <laughs> Stuff. Butt Club Samson. Butt Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, unless you could, refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast. The best part of the story was the space battles! I said it with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers in guns space hippies, or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade City Planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms, and that space dog fight between those two ace pilots, sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favourite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Honestly, Samson, it sounds like you are supporting the bad guys. Devouring planets? Brain worms? Those... Those are not the actions of the good guys. Brainworms. Boom! Ah! Did I just explode something? Oh yeah, that exploded. It hurt me. That was not smart. Uh, map, where are we going? Uh, wait, where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from? Okay, so I came from there. I did not go up there yet. Did I go in here yet? Yeah, this is the bathroom, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I came down here. I went into pneumatics there. That's where I went. That is also where I went. Wait, no. Then that's where I went down there. So I haven't been this way yet, down to the mail room. Emily Oops. said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Oh, she did? Okay, well, let's not go to the mail room right now then. If the mail room is where we get to the hotline, and the hotline is where we're trying to go, obviously, we want to see what else we can find first up here. Gotta go the wrong way first, always. See? There is stuff and things. Internet usage rules? Oh man, I'm never gonna be a- oh. Internet is not for social media use. I can't read the next one. Ah, there we go. It, uh, cleared up. No FBC materials of any kind may be scanned or uploaded. FBC email addresses are for work-related correspondence only. Level 5 clearance required to access internet? If a cubicle's black rock shell gets damaged, vacate it immediately and alert Mr. Tomasi. If you notice any text in your work that you do not recall writing, vacate your cubicle immediately and alert Mr. Tomasi. <laughs> do not connect internal comm devices to the network. Printer is for communications department use only. Altered items are forbidden in the cubicles. Notify security of any breaches immediately. They may require internal lockdown. Wow. Oh, hey floaty. He's bloated. Yeet. Okay. To the mail room. Make a mess. Throw things around. That was some noise. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, it seems nothing's happening. Let's pick this paper up. Uh, 
Reinformation campaign summary of Willow AWE. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to redact it. So, another AWE behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring redacted and redacted for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tamazi out. Hey, we like good news. I don't like the noises! Ooh, launch efficiency, you say? I have new weapon mods, too. Ooh, I can increase the energy gain from headshots. That could be... I think I'm just gonna stick to my simple damage boost, though. Because I have energy now. <laughs> launch energy cost minus 7%. Ooh. It's a very small amount, though. Or just more maximum health. Um... I'm going to stick with what I've got, actually. Nope, that's not something. This is so creepy. Oh, where did I come from? Okay, I came from down here. I get lost very easily, apparently. D okay, yep, yeah, that's... Okay, I'm going back the way I came now. Yeah, okay, so I came in here, and then I went in there, and then obviously I just came out the other door. Someone is very angry. Stop shouting so much. You're not dead yet. Because I went all right. I killed them all. Nobody even hurt me. <gasps> Treasure. It's more undefined reading. Shush. Will you explode? Thank you. God, sometimes you just want the hiss to go away, you know? Just be quiet. Okay, that's a little dead end. Mailroom, cafeteria, and central executive. I need to go through the mailroom. Mailroom is that way, so I'm gonna go this way. Have I gone around in a loop? Where am I now? I am so lost all the time. Have I been up here before? I don't know. Will you shut up? No, I haven't been here before. There's a lot of locked doors. Wait, what's this? Clearance level one! Hell yeah. Clearance level one, we did it. We can go in some doors now. Oh my god. Please. Shut up! Don't 
Stop watching me. <laughs> You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many calls. That's a lot of words. Hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, Inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when the housekeeper had complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me. No chilly. That is a, a lot. Under the bed. <gasps> Under the bed? Stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story. And I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you <laughs> Maybe your toaster is possessed? I feel like that's foreshadowing. There's going to be a possessed toaster, isn't there? Ooh, a shelter. Okay, it's just a radio that we turned on. I was like, what is that? Why is it making noises? Um, lost now. Oh, I'm... Ooh. Oh! Hello, control point! Well, that's nice. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, another clearance level one. You, you okay there? Jesus Christ, what happened to you? I kind of wanted his head to go away, but it didn't go away. Okay, so that's a clearance level one door. That is where we need to go now to continue. So we're not going to open that door until we've had a... A proper look around, you know? Good old nosy around everywhere. In the toilets, obviously in the toilets. I found a broom. I found a broom! <laughs> this is my broom now. No one can take it from me. Gonna, just gonna do some sweeping. Sweep up the papers. Sweep up the papers! Uh, did I be here already? I think I beat here already, right? This looks familiar. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat here already. Okay, yeah, basically, I, like, I went through here and round and... In a loop. Okay, I think I'm pretty much explored all of this place now. Wait, 
Okay, that's nothing. Did I go up the stairs? Yeah, I did go up the stairs, didn't I? Because then I came back downstairs. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, but I didn't go up more than stairs. I went up one lot of stairs, but not two lot of stairs. The fuck is this room? Damn it, I missed. Just punch him. was close. This room is freaky. It's just got a bunch of... Oh, it's computers. I see. Network disconnected. I was like, just cubes! But it was computers. I was just looking at them from the wrong side. Wait. I, I went too far away. I didn't click. Okay. Energy boost? Energy plus six percent. I feel it's just such a small number. It's barely worth anything. Data breach. Confirmed data breach. Summary. Last month, our on-site server experienced an intrusion by unauthorized users. After a thorough investigation, it was confirmed that the users only accessed a video file, which contained portions of various Dr. Darling presentations. Investigators were able to track the users through their IP addresses. The followings are the confirmed identities of these users. Patrick Stroichens? Rubens Nguera? Otto Kolumaki? Christopher Mills Bowling? Jacko Sorenen? These individuals are in breach of Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by our external investigation team. Further action is pending. Wait, there's another door at the end of here. Oh, but it's sealed shut. I see. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I came up here. Whoa, I've unlocked a door! Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the d d directorial override and maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building. It's only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slapped together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, and B, a high clearance individual gives the system the all clear. The, this process is not the same as the directorial override, so stop saying so in documentation! I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works, okay? Marshall. Interesting. Are we in internal or external lockdown now? I forget. Oh, jeez. What is this stuff? Does it hurt? It hurts! 
What about if I... Okay, that's not going to help, is it? Even if I get rid of this one too. Hey, can you... Thank you. Yeah, okay. I can, I can never get around it, though. I'm a pro gamer. It's fine. Oh, no, 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 no! So is it... I thought it was the stuff on the floor, but is it just the room? I think it might just be the room. Yep, it's just the room. It's the, it's the whole room. But the stuff in there that I want. It's so annoying. Okay, we, we're not going in there though. That's... That is a no-go. Okay, now we're done exploring. And we can... Uh, where was that control point? Was it over this side? I feel like it was over this side, right? Yes, there it is. Get healed! Uh, I guess we're going in here. So, those clearance things... They are... Okay, I think they're consumable. I didn't realize. I thought we were just gonna... Oh shit. Unlock a clearance level. Oh, I don't like... Oh god, it's Tomasi! Oh jeez. We're getting there, we're getting there. Ooh! Where is he going? Tomasi, get back here! His elevated <laughs> Hey Grace, thank you so much for subscribing for nine months! Oh my god, we have a Twitch baby. <laughs> we have a Twitch baby. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Okay. Has elevated agents display abilities similar to telekinetic competencies observed in Bureau Power Utilitarians. Some prefer to charge their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the Hiss Elevated due to their own talent in the area. Yeah, I noticed that. He dodged everything I threw at him. It was just my gun that killed him. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some Hiss Elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It's possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption. It's also worth considering that the Hiss Resonance can identify and express latent paranatural ability in the, indiv in the individuals it corrupts. Refer to file redacted for full report. I have a feeling he'll be back. Oh yeah, for sure. That is not the last we're gonna see of him. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Yep. So I do not want to go back out of the mailroom the way I came in. That would be very silly. But I want to make sure there isn't any nice things in here that I'm missing. Look at all this tasty health on the floor. But I'm at full health. So I don't need it because I'm too good at games. She says after dying twice earlier, but shush. No one saw that. It didn't count. It was a practice. 
too good for games. That's me. Hotline chamber that way. What about if I go literally any other direction? Hotline chamber. Okay. I guess all the staircases are going to converge upstairs, aren't they? Yeah. All three of them. Okay, up we go then. To the hotline chamber. Hotline chamber that way. Well, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I don't care where you want me to go, video game. I'm going to go a different way. Ooh, now I'm going somewhere else. All right, let me check. Okay, that did not use up a clearance level thingy. Wait, this place familiar. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been here. I've been here. It's fine. I don't need to do anything over there. That was just a door that was locked before. Oh, is that just like a door that's like can only be opened from the other side? Dark Souls style, I think it is. Wow, this game is just like Dark Souls. <laughs> Okay, I guess we should head to the hotline chamber. Things how that's where we're supposed to be going. Whoa. This is a room. Ooh, hello, 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 hello. More documentation to read. But summary! <laughs> but. <laughs> anyway, event summary. A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of But. <laughs> But <laughs> where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Event response. Bureau agents arrived at the home of the local celebrity located at Redacted Redacted, which had been connected to a total of redacted disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house, redacted, days later. Found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. The light switch cord in the butt home's closet disappeared during this incident. Ooh, creepy. Butt summary. <laughs> redacted, redacted. Hey, you're still here. I thought you may have noped out during the creepy puppet show. I would not have blamed you. I need drink water. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. Alberto Tomasi. Oh, crap. Never mind. I was going to look at his picture again on his ID, but... The hiss got him. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated... All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant... Ooh, trophy and strange collection. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> still here, but was not here for a short while. Oh, did you miss the creepy puppet show? It was incredibly creepy. I did not like it. I was making slime against anxiety. That is a good idea. The hotline can't be far now. Ooh. I missed it. Good. You should count yourself lucky. It was horrible. Ooh, ammo efficiency. That sounds like a cool mod. Ammo cost per shot, minus 7%. The numbers are so small. Like, the only ones that seem worth doing are, like... I mean... That might be useful for ammo, because, like... 
and you get quite a lot of shots. But when you get like, you get two uses of telekinesis before you run out of energy. And the mod for reducing the energy use is 7%. It's like, you're not even going to get a third use. Ooh, hotline chamber. You're not even going to get a third use out of that if you equip the thing. Case files, butt supplement. <laughs> butt supplement. <laughs> That's even funnier than butt summary. <laughs> okay, okay. We're just going to read the butt supplement and be grown-ups about it. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the butt home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel in Casino, and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butt have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the butt home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is redacted, but initial hypotheses center on the butt AWEs are redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 24.3 for more details. I get the feeling I am at some point going to be going to this Ocean View Motel and using it to traverse the oldest house and get to various different places which I either can't access or would take a long time to get to. Hotline security log. All visitors must check in. Okay, direct trench, Bill Everett, custodian, and also, ooh. Then the last one changes from Bill Everett custodian to Carol Bishop custodian. Interesting. That's all 2019. Was over a course of like a couple of months. I can hear the hotline ringing. Wait, no. Go around the metal detector after I already went through it. Interesting that it didn't go off. Sometimes I just like to destroy things for fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm going there now. Stand here. I'm just saying what Trench is saying before I pull the cord. Okay, I think he's done talking now. Whoa. Ocean View Motel and Casino entry point. Catalyst light switch. The law of three applies. I see. The law of three applies. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, spiral. Do I have a map here? The roadside motels across the country. I do not have a map here. On the run, under the radar. Okay, I feel like that's where I'm supposed to go. All of them, like something recognized from a dream. I like the music. I guess we can't go out through the front door, can we? Absolutely not. Ding! Hello? Ding! Anyone here? Ding! Ding! Let's see if there's anything else. Ooh, this room is already open. I just briefly got very scared by my own shadow. <laughs> Okay, let's go through the room we're supposed to go through. Oh, it's locked. It's locked. Ocean View Motel, you are not being very helpful right now. Maybe if I ding the bell after trying the locked door. What if I just fucking... I don't know. I thought maybe... No, there's nothing back here. I already looked there, didn't I? 
Did I miss something in here? Quarter to four. What if I just pull the cord again? I feel like that would just take me back to where I started, right? But I can't really do anything else. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Wait, will that change anything here? Or do I just have to pull it th three times? Ah! <gasps> Did change stuff! The key has a black pyramid on it. It changed which door was open down here. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if I can open other doors! Right, I know I can go in the Black Pyramid room now, but... Wait, oh, I can't pull it again? Boo! I wanted to do more playing around in the motel, but... I guess... Oh, now that's creepy. That's creepy! That's me! <laughs> Don't like that? Nope. And now there is a bridge across to the hotline. Okie dokie. Let's pick it up. Okay, we got another astral plane challenge. Unknown caller. Okay. Um... The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! I ran off the edge. Okay, and how exactly do I contact them? Hmm? Don't really know what I'm... I think I'm just supposed to be doing this, just running past. I can still hear the phone ringing! connect to any typical network a direct line to the astral plane and the board and my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well a director needs a team my management team these people know the secrets of the bureau as well as I do some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Oh! Nosebleed. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. 
Yeah, but also I'm gonna look at all this stuff. Hotline, containment procedure. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Description slash power utility. Object is a 1960s era red baker light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs redacted. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.6 for more information. The object is currently bound to director trench. Background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. Ring, ring. It's Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered. And the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified. Dum, dum, dum. Interesting. And six hotline things. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, I'm gonna end the stream here. We can listen to these hotline calls next time. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe. Bye.